the young investors had mixed fortunes this week. Whilst Kamala Bailey and Nikila Smith suffered marginal losses in their heavily diversified portfolios, Dexter Smith continues to post impressive gains. First-year UWI accounting student Dexter Smith's short-selling strategy with small portfolios is certainly paying off. His portfolio skyrocketed by over $17,500 this week to end at $136,779.26. Now that's a profit of nearly 37% in one month of trading. Data from the Jamaica Stock Exchange showed that Dexter's windfall came from his Gleaner and Cable and Wireless shares. Conversely, he made a loss on his Scotia DBG shares. Dexter currently holds two stocks, one Mayberry investment share and 5,442 Capital and Credit Financial Group shares. I should ask Dexter what's the thinking behind holding one Mayberry investment share. Interesting. Kamala Bailey, also a first-year accounting student at the University of the West Indies, suffered a loss of $475 but remains in second place. Kamala continues to manage a large 15-stock portfolio, albeit two less than last week's. She increased her holdings in Cable and Wireless, Scotia Group, Caribbean Cement, Mayberry, and added Gleaner. Kamala sold her Berger, RJR, and Capital and Credit Financial Group shares. Kamala's portfolio is worth $103,207 and contains 15 stocks, including 500 Grace Kennedy, 1,000 Jamaica Producers, 600 Cable and Wireless, 300 Scotia DBG, and 200 Gleaner shares. Kingston Technical's Nikila Smith's portfolio declined by $181.50, closing the week at $98,485. Nikila increased her holdings in Carreras and Grace Kennedy and sold her NCB and Scotia DBG shares, a factor that contributed to her loss. Nikila has a 10-stock portfolio, which includes 300 Carreras, 300 Grace Kennedys, 100 Lascelles de Mercado, 400 Jamaica Broilers, 100 Scotia Group, and 100 JMMB shares. It's early days yet in the first quarter of the Young Investors Stock Market competition, and we dare not stick our neck out and make the call. One thing's for sure, with gains ranging from 3% to 37% in one month, the young investors have certainly proven that the stock market possibly offers the best legitimate rate of return to those who understand risk and reward.